What's going on everybody? Teddy Baldassar from teddybaldassar.com. Today we're gonna to be looking at an awesome watch available for purchase on my website with the Ocean Crawler Great Lakes. So a lot of Ocean Crawler watches tend to be a little bit larger. This one fits a nice middle of the ground case size, which I'm excited to talk about today. But also if you have any questions about this piece, I'll have a link in the description with more product details. But also if you wanna talk through this watch to potentially purchase, as well as any other watches on my website that you're thinking about, you can also book a call with me to talk with me specifically. But guys, let's take a closer look at this watch. Looking at a rundown of the specs here, we have a case size, 39.7 millimeters, thickness of 13 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, lug to lug of 43.8 millimeters, water resistance of 300 meters, movement is an automatic Salita SW200, crystal is sapphire, price $999, and if you use promo code Great Lakes, you can get a free strap up to $50 with your purchase. So before looking at this watch in general, just to cover a little bit of context and background on Ocean Crawler. So Ocean Crawler first was put on my radar a couple years ago, and I immediately became a fan after reviewing their Core Diver and their Dream Diver on my main channel. The brand was started in Rochester, New York, and has made a quick name for itself in the micro brand boutique community for their well-constructed divers that play in the theme of the brand name. However, one important note with their watches is that many of them, although wearing smaller than their case size might indicate, wearing similar to say a Seiko Turtle for example and a lot of my times with their watches, they do tend to lean large across their entire catalog, which I am very happy to be able to carry this piece right here on my website and to be able to review it here today. So the model we have here is a member of the Great Lakes collection. A new model unveiled this year and comes in a compressor style case with this particular variant coming in a silver dial known as their Isle Royale. However, there is also a few different dial variants available on the site that include black and blue as well. Now first when strapping this watch on the wrist, this is gonna be one that's very accommodating across the board for a variety of wrists out there. With its compact case size across the wrist, it's gonna sit nicely, wearing similar to that of a smaller SKX-013 that is quite compact on the wrist with its dimensions. The sapphire crystal on the piece is slightly domed, helping the watch achieve a very reasonable thickness of 13 millimeters. The case itself comes in a brush finish throughout and I think personally suits the rounded off case well. Between the lugs, we have a lug width of 20 millimeters that will make this one really accessible and easy to swap with different types of straps. And if you do use the promo code again, Great Lakes at checkout, you can get a free strap again up to $50 with your purchase. However, one important thing and kind of get on the subject of this watch here, we have two crowns located on the left side of the case. So this design follows a compressor style, a popular diver layout of the mid 20th century and has really come back into the circle of popularity in recent years with the fascination of vintage divers as of late. So how this operates at the four o'clock crown, the crown can be unscrewed and will operate in traditional fashion, allowing the user to wind the watch at that first position, following unscrewing the crown, and then changing the date when pulling to the second position, and then changing all the hands at the farthest position while stopping the second hand in the process. At the two o'clock crown, we have a slightly different effect. Following twisting, the crown will then be free to engage and you'll have the ability to rotate the internal bezel bi-directionally. The bezel rotation has a slight audible click, which also has a little tactile feel as well that you can feel as you're rotating. The bezel within also comes in black and is heavily sloped and has contrasting markers to assist in legibility. At the outskirts of the dial where that internal bezel meets the dial, there is an outer track of Superluminova that will extend into many of the markers to provide a well-lit surface with the 12, 3, and 9 containing applied Superluminova filled markers. The dial surface has a slight shimmer coming in a sunburst style. At the 12, the printing of the brand's logo. At the 6, circular date aperture and the writing of the variant in orange cursive above the standard specification text. For a handset, we have a pencil style with a minute hand coming in orange, the hour hand coming in black, and the second hand coming in black with an orange triangular tip at the end. Flipping the watch over, we have view of a screw down case back with an embossed logo. Within the case back, we have the popular and venerable alternative to the ETA 2824-2 with the Salita SW201. This caliber is no nonsense and is one of the best third-party options for a Swiss-made automatic caliber, while being easy to service and regulate. It operates at four hertz, 28,800 vibrations per hour, 
features hacking so you can stop that second hand when pulling the crown to the farthest position hand winding as well power reserve 38 hours and out of the box we're looking at plus or minus 12 seconds a day to plus or minus 30 seconds a day. Uh, this one's actually running around nine seconds a day in accuracy. All right, so now to unpack here, looking at this watch. So I've been a fan of Ocean Crawler for some time. I found a lot of their watches. I mean, they're well-constructed. They have Swiss calibers within, and I just like the retro looks. And for somebody that maybe is looking this way, sometimes I think brands, they, they yes, they do reinterpret old designs, but maybe not to the same liking or same flexibility that a micro brand can. And I think Ocean Crawler is one of the best out there. But when seeing this Great Lakes here as somebody with a smaller wrist, I think this is a big winner in kind of rounding out the catalog and has been a big favorite since launching the site and excited to be able to feature it there as well as cover it here today. Well, all right, guys, thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. In addition to that, we'll have a link to the product in the description, but also please book a call with me if you have questions about this piece or any other watch available for purchase on my website. Would love to help you out with your next watch. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I'll see you all very soon.